Assalamu alaikum and uh, Dien Dobre everyone. I'm back again just a few short hours after my last uh, video. Well, two of them anyway because I filled up two blocks of time. But uh, this morning I'm here to express my annoyance with a pilot from uh, JetBlue. Who was a little ticked off, to use kind words, with his girlfriend. But instead of going through normal means of seeking relationship help, he allegedly tries to take it out on his crewmates and the passengers in his plane. Fortunately for uh, everybody else, he was arrested before this possible event could take place and uh, they got another pilot so the people could go where they wanted to go safely. But my question is, why would a person vent anger about a domestic dispute on totally innocent people. What did they do to him other than board his plane? Are they responsible for a domestic problem? Or is it just him thinking that by taking away someone else's life he could solve his own problem but obviously that holds about as much water as a piece of cheesecloth there are better ways to handle these issues you can seek counseling you can seek help from your God You can talk to family and friends who are trustworthy. You do not have to put the lives of innocent people at risk just because you are angry. That is why there are these services out there. I mean, these two people were not married, but they were in a relationship. But that still means that if there's a problem, it needs to be solved in a way that is beneficial to both sides. Putting other people at risk who are not even aware of your personal life is not the answer. I have seen personal ex you know, firsthand what relationship problems can do to people. I have known people who have gone through relationship issues and I will not get into that here because there's no need to. It's between them and their Lord and their partners or uh, ex-partners. Let us just think about this. There are better ways to deal with personal issues. Being a Muslim, obviously, it is not meant for people to be uh, in a relationship, a personal, let alone sexual relationship, before marriage. But outside of that, you know, in any religion, as far as I know, 
if you are having issues, you are supposed to seek help. Whether it be from people in uh, authority or in a counseling or pastoral ministry type role in your religion, whether it be Christian, Muslim, Jewish, or whatever, you can seek help from people who are knowledgeable. You can seek professional counseling, whether from a state or county social service provider, from a psychiatrist or psychologist, or a, a trained counselor. And of course, you can simply pray about it. Had the two people in this case done any one of those, perhaps this would not have led to this supposed email from the pilot to his girlfriend. Perhaps it would have been resolved quietly and things in life would have just gone on as normal and uh, no one would have been put at risk. We need to seek help from any source that is local in our communities. And both parties involved need to seek help. I wish that some people that I know had done that before things got to where they ended up. But that is done and gone. And it's now up just between them and their Lord. Let us pray that people take from this incident some real advice to seek help before things get out of control. Before anyone's life, especially innocence, get put at risk. There are families on that plane. There are little kids. People trying to get somewhere to meet relatives or to return home after visiting relatives or going to their place of education or to a job or returning from a place of education or a job. They had nothing to do with it. How can they be responsible for a problem that occurred between two people that were having a domestic dispute. They can't. So why should they be treated in a way that one would treat someone who is guilty? That just isn't cool with me. And I know that's not cool with Allah. So let us pray that we get free from this nonsense and do the right thing when it comes to personal relationships. And perhaps by more people taking the right path, there will be less crime against the innocent. There will be more true love in this world. And people will be happy to hang around with other people. Well, that's my tidbit for today. And I'll be back with something later.